Ah, here is a video I didn't think I'd ever make. For once, I disagree with the twins, which is rather weird. I don't think I've ever disagreed with them on anything before. Well, at least not on a serious topic, anyway. I think Keith told one dude who wrote in before to bust 50 nuts one morning before a date. And frankly, if you can bust 50 nuts in a 16-hour period, you're gonna have to do 3 per hour and 4 and 2 of those to reach the 50. And like Kevin said, you're gonna end up with a bright red strawberry looking mushroom tip and you'll maybe be an ER for heart complications, but anyway. In this clip, yes I know, very weird introduction so far. They had this white teacher in front of a bunch of black teens and he tells them he's superior because he's white. Well first off, much respect for having the cojones to actually do that, that actually takes some stones. And then again, if shit physically kicks off or they can't articulate as to why they're at least equal, well, that kind of proves his point. So it's a bit of a, you know, checkmate fuck you move. Now, we all know how this goes. If you speak on these matters, you get race and IQ, all of that crap. And their take is quite um, short-sighted, I must say. They do speak about culture, naturally. But then they say this. Yeah, the whole IQ thing. Yeah, I think, honestly, if every race had the same opportunity as far as education and yeah. you just take races from all over the world and they got the same education... If you could do that, I think we would I, pretty much everybody would test it'd the be same. Pretty much be the same. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there'd be varying differences here and there, but it's not going to be so much where you think like, "Whoa, this dude is stupid." <laughs> he went to this school and look how dumb he is. <laughs> yeah, you won't see a significant difference. Now, let me just say, if you take any group of people from the same village, you're going to have different IQs, and that's from the same stock, presumably. So, to suggest you can apply universal education on a global scale, for example, and you're not going to get vastly varying results is quite a wild thing to say. And considering they also speak about the cultural differences, which is going to further increase the disparities, not gonna lie, that take kind of shocked me. And also, you guys have affirmative action in America. Does that not kind of defeat your whole argument? I really didn't have much to say on this aside from that one, to be honest. I mean, that, that's kind of, <laughs> kind of my money shot. But uh, the racial argument has always been very weird to me. I think it's because when I moved when I was younger from South Africa to Europe, I pretty much learned early on that these people may look like you in the sense that they're also white, but they're nothing like you. So I don't fall into this white people camp thing, which I think is very much an American-centric kind of perspective. But their take on the universal education, I find kind of funny because they sort of debunk their own argument. I mean, you have quite disparate test scores in the US as it is. Hell, even on a state-by-state -state basis. And we all know which racial groups are lagging behind, let's not kid ourselves. Hell, I've read some stats, especially in California, where a disturbingly high number of minorities can't even, by the 8th grade, I think, pass reading or arithmetic. You look at that and think, what in the hell are your schools doing? Well, aside from creating democratic voters, but... Considering you are known as the melting part of the world and you have standardized tests, assuming they haven't been removed because of climate change or some stupid shit, to suggest that all races would have the same scores is confusing to me at the very least. Because it is definitely more of a cultural thing, because race in the grand scheme of things is too rough and vast. It needs to be ground down. Race is merely the melanin count, proportional to your geographical location on the earth and the distance from the sun. Then when you ground it down, you get more to the, the meat and potatoes of the issue. I mean, look at Africa. It's one huge continent, one race. Are they equal in intelligence? Hell no. Look at their location. What is much of Africa surrounded by? Water, desert. Look at what type of wildlife is in Africa, with who the Africans can communicate with, via what mechanisms over what type of terrain, or who they are at war with. Uh, they're quite isolated yet contain about a third of the world's languages. You read Thomas Sowell, isolation is probably the main contributing factor to barbaric backwards behavior when compared to the rest of the world. I mean, look at parts of Europe, a different climate, different skills, crops, industrial revolution, powered by coal, iron deposits, multiple languages, writing, books, etc., etc. And you interface with all of these groups and cultures over the course of many a century, you get far more development. You get a wider pool of people, wider potential to develop, and Europe is quite diverse, and we sure as hell are not equal. Try telling an Englishman he's equal to a Frenchman or a German. Now, I'm not saying he's gonna hit you, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it as a means to make friends. But if you look at the earlier periods of America during the colonial era, you have different parts of Europe bringing their trades over. So the Scots or the Irish, not sure which, maybe both, probably more the Scots. 
Uh, they used corn because that's a dominant crop to make the whiskey that would become bourbon. Or if you look at those who were efficient in dairy farming and beer manufacturing, for example, they were German. Or look at my own country in South Africa. Look at the Afrikaner farmers. Why are they so efficient? Because they're Dutch. Hell, some of those families have probably been farmers for double-digit generations. Anyway, I'm borderline ramming on a story hour here, but, but I do think we often use IQ in a sort of inappropriate way, at least in the global way. I could see why it's a, you know semi-useful for us first-worlders when it's used as a predictor for success in the Western world. But when you look at other people or parts of the world where we kind of condescendingly look down upon them, while you know, some people do, leftists definitely do, where their ways seem quite plain or quaint, but I will take a bet some of those people are far more satisfied in their simplicity than some people in our ranks who are drugged to the hill to address the fact that their lives suck complete ass. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.